Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to run local LLMs on your computer. So let's get started. So to run LLMs locally, you need to install LM Studio, which is a great application. There are other ways to do it, but I think this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it. So let's just go to lmstudio.ai, okay? We're gonna download this program, which is going to be pretty easy. So this program is available for Mac, uh, Windows and Linux. We're gonna choose Windows and we're gonna do that. Let's save and downloads. So the installation is pretty much easy. You just download this file, which should be here, okay? So let's download this file, which should take about two minutes. And in the website, we can see a bunch of information about that's also the docs because this program allows you to do a couple of things that are interesting. There are supports for a server to run the server. There's also text embeddings, which are good for RAG, which is something that we are going to talk about later. But today I'm going to show you guys how to download LM Studio and, and get started running a model. So the model that we're going to run is going to be Mistral 7B, which is one of my favorite models before Llama 3. But we're going to see, we see that Llama 3 does suffer some issues. Let me see, the download should be happening but it didn't. Probably there's servers that are for something. Okay, we are. Let's use free old manage, okay? Let's copy the link of this here. I'm gonna use free old manage to download this. Should be way faster than using Chrome because for some reason, browsers are not able to download files smoothly. This should be a piece of cake. No, okay. We downloaded using free download manager. So if you guys are having trouble downloading, I recommend you guys to have applications such as a free download manager installed. So we can download this. Uh, let's see. Let's cancel. Okay, so we've downloaded LM Studio. Let's install. We're gonna double click. And this should open the dialog for installation. So this is the flash screen for the installation. Should be just something like this, which is pretty interesting. Just a mini version of the interface, but let's see. So I think it's installing already. And when this closes, I think it's gonna be done. Let's see, okay, we see a shortcut here. So this is the homepage for LM Studio. You guys can see here a few models already, which you could download, such as Llama 3, Google's Gemma, to be that's Hamas Pro Mistro. Let's search for a model here to download. Let me, let me go to search and we're going to type Mistro. And this has the ability to search on numerous repositories on Hug and Face, which it gave us access. There's a bunch of version. I don't think this version struck the lamb. Let's search for 7B. We also could test see new res research. They should have a repository here. News research with Lama 3. Um, let me see. Okay, let's try Herm Herms 2 Pro Lamas. Here you guys can see different files and each file has a different level of quantization, which pretty much uh, is how much information each file is using to store a parameter. So this one is using two bits which more or less functions as a 2.5 bits. This one's three bits, which more or less works as 3.5 and so on. So I'm going to download uh, the this one. I think should work well. And uh, over here, you guys can see the amount of RAM that I have on my computer, which is 16 gigabytes and the amount of VRAM that I have, which is six gigabytes. So if you guys have a GPU with a lot of VRAM, you guys can see here, and that should help with loading uh, models on GPU. So you guys can see here that I got some warnings that I might be able to just load some of these layers on GPU. Okay, so let's download this one, I think. So we are now downloading this model. Let's see how much internet. So we are about 300 megabits uh, of download speed. This shouldn't take that long. Uh, there's also here playground, uh, which you, you pretty much you can uh, instantiate more than one model. There's, the, as I said before, there's some things here, guys. This, here's the how to use a server. But today we're just gonna run in this mode, okay? Later on, we can talk about other stuff that you can do with LM Studio, which is pretty interesting. 
So the installation is being done. We are at about 180 megabits per second. Should be done soon. And I like how this app has a nice interface. You guys can see that the people behind it thought of the interface. They create a very interesting interface. Also the whole integration with Hug and Face makes it easy finding models. So pretty much uh, you can get some models day one when they are released here on LM Studio. To do that, we can just search here and you can search LM Studio which they have some of their own models. Quantitizers by themselves. We can see that Lama 3 Chat QU has over 50,000 downloads. Also Meta 3 uh, 70B Struct has 50,000. Yeah, uh, which you guys can see here the, the size of the, the files uh, that you need to download. So Lama 3 70B Struct on Q4 is 42 gigabytes. So if you have a machine with or over uh let's say 64 gigabytes i think you can run this although the inference on cpu shouldn't be that fast actually it should be very slow because this model has a lot of uh, parameters but okay let's see the download still going on i don't know why it didn't download yet it should have done before but yeah it's not done yet so here's the information about quantization if you guys want to look into it there's a nice page on github on how quantization works and i think that's pretty interesting okay we can see it's downloading about uh, 12 megabytes per second we are at 80 percent should be ending soon okay so it's almost downloaded uh, it's at 80 it's at 98 percent done so it should be done almost there it's almost there let's see and there you go so the download is finished and now it's gonna validate the file that we downloaded it should take another minute so when that happens let's wait until that happens and after okay so now we've downloaded this model so here in my models we can see all of the models that we've downloaded you guys can actually delete here model you can choose a preset we're gonna use default preset preset here uh now let's load the model and see how it works okay so to load the model we're gonna go to ai chat this tab close this so here's the interface pretty is simple here we can type but if you type here we don't have a model loaded so we can click here to select the model and you guys can see here harms 2 pro lemon 3 but that's also one thing that you guys need to pay attention is that there are a couple of settings here so here's the system prompt which pretty much uh controls how the the model behaves there's also context length which you can uh, change here so i think this model has a 4000 uh tokens context length there's also uh temperature here okay sampling which is our settings that control how the, how creative uh, you could say the text generator is and this one is a very important setting which is gpu acceleration uh and here we need to choose how many layers we want to load on gpu so let's say 40 okay or 50 which is max here let's just scroll back okay let's click here uh, this should load the model onto gpu memory and to see that you can you guys can see over here that my gpu memory is almost there it's using a lot of gpu memory i think the model was loaded let's see let's type hi let's type hello actually type hello and this should start working we can see that my gpu uh is working right now and this should be working soon here let's see this processing is because of the context length the context length uh does take quite a a bit of memory because we increased to four thousand and that's going to be processed uh, as we uh, generate each new token so that that might be the problem here guys uh, let's see let's let's eject this model and let's uh change the context length to just a thousand uh we are on gpu okay we can click here max uh we can click here max to the max amount of layers and we're gonna reload the model and now because we are using a smaller context length should be faster let's type hello let me delete this hello let's see and it's faster now because okay 
Uh, we got 17 tokens per second. Uh, let's uh, ask the model to write a hello world in C++. And it should be fairly easy task for the LLM, which is <laughs> 7 billion, uh, 8 billion parameters, right? Uh, let's ask another question. Let's see. Say hello to the people watching this tutorial right now. Let's see, it should be fairly aware. Hello, all the viewers of this story. Great to have you learning, growing together. Remember, you can be achieving your goals. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's how you can download LM Studio, uh, search for Moto and download it, start using it locally. So this is all running locally, as you guys can see. The speed of inference will depend on which hardware you have. It's always preferable to run on GPU. Uh, if we uh, don't use GPU, uh, let's say, let's reload this. Let me just click here. Let me create a new uh, here. Let's say that we don't load on GPU, okay? Let's load on CPU to see how it goes. And you guys will see that it's way, way slower. On GPU, we were able to, so it, you guys can see that my GPU is not being used pretty much for this. And my memory, my RAM, it's all almost over. Let's just type a simple hello. And the CPU should be going crazy right now as it is because it's running on CPU. And the, the speed was just over two tokens, pretty much two tokens per second. Let's say write a hello world in C++ again should be three tokens per second, which we got a pretty much like a six times speed up by running uh, this on GPU. And this should be a bigger difference if you have a high gain GPU, like a 3090. So it's something that you guys need to be aware of when running this, uh, running, uh, running these models on CPU, still quite a difficult task. You can do it as you guys can see right now, but it's not recommended, okay? Uh, this is not a ideal scenario. Really slow. Again, we got about three tokens per second, but that's pretty much it guys. So again, you guys need to remember to always run on GPU as much as possible. If not possible, you can uh, offload some layers, let's say like 10 layers or two, 12 layers for the GPU that will help with inference times. But again, ideally, all your memory should be on GPU, okay? But that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.